Hi there, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm with JP Vargas de la Vega, Managing Director of Galan Lithium, who are uh, about halfway through drilling their fifth hole at the Candelas Lithium Project in Argentina. Um, now, um, JP, this is the fifth hole you've drilled out there. You've had some uh, previous drilling success. Uh, this hole uh, so far seems to be supporting that uh, success? Yeah, um, hi Graham. The, um Hole 5 is uh, definitely giving us a, a base to work with. Uh -huh. um, if we look at Candelas to the north, we go Hole 1, 3 and now 5, that they are pointing out in the right direction to yep. have heavy brines. Right. Okay, and so we'll just sort of talk through that a little bit. So you had Hole 1, which um, uh, told you that you're definitely in the right area. Yep. Yeah, you had a good run there. Uh, and then, as you said, Hole 3. three. Because you step back from hole two. Two and a half kilometres to the south. Yep. yep. And now we're, we're halfway through hole five. Which to the west of hole three. So we've got a okay. triangle now. Yep. And what we're excited about the potential result. You know, as you point out, we're still uh, yep. halfway through drilling. And the indication is that potentially it could look as good as hole three. Right. Um, we're yet to know. Once yes. we finish, we need to do yep. assessment, take samples to the lab. But um, it. In a way, uh, it's, it's showing that the, the presence of high-grade um, brines is very likely in the northern area of Candelas. Right. We're going to start stepping back to the south um, in a moderate fashion, yep. if you want to call it, yep. uh, once we finish Hall 5. Uh, we have applied for the drilling permits and uh, we believe that are going to be granted uh, fairly soon. So that will allow us to keep drilling to another six holes right. that we're going to be assessing exactly where we're going to go. We are working very closely with um, SRK. Um, SRK has been really good in tell us um, in complementing our knowledge and and uh, and also just figuring out where's best to go and drill. Right. Okay. So uh, so basically, uh, uh, some of the holes have uh, let you know that you yes, okay, we're in, we're in a, uh, possibly in a, a, a big lithium area, and now. Uh, with the indication so far from hole five, without having any results back, that uh, you've extended it in that direction. Correct. You were stepping to the south, two and a half kilometres. So we go an area of around three kilometres in width, two yep. and a half kilometres north and south, and we will be stepping south um, in the later uh, drill holes once we get the permits approved. Right. And it's not as if it's a, a, a new area for lithium because, you know, I mean, you're, you're not the first company to be, uh, you know, finding uh, uh, evidence of lithium out there. Is, is that right? Uh, that's correct. Um, we are at the Ombre Muerto Salt Flat. And Ombre Muerto, the, the highlights of Ombre Muerto is it's got a really good relationship between grade and low impurities, not only for uh, lithium to magnesium ratio, but uh, sulf, um, sulfate to, magne uh, to lithium right. ratio. So, in, in other words, it's a relatively, it's a one of the cleanest brines you can find out there. Okay. Um, and, and that's the key thing. Um, I, I've done the parallel with Mount Wellback. So, uh -huh. so if you go Mount Wellback, you put a mine 500 kilometers away from the coast because you got uh, good high grade and low impurities. The same applies for lithium, and, uh, and that's what we have. And uh, we are in a really good neighborhood. We um, To the north, we got Galaxy follow up by Posco, uh -huh. and to the west we've got our live end which, which was the old FMC. Right. So we in, um, in the best spot, spot possible in, in Argentina and um, we, um, we're finding and we're demonstrating and with the, the risk in the, the project and, and demonstrating that an area that was geologically unlikely to host any brines, we are showing that this area that was overlooked by many geologists before us, yeah. uh, it has brines. And um, we're demonstrating the size bit by bit. With There's more to drill to the west as well. We've got tenement to the west. And this is a, a systematic approach of what we're trying to do. But uh, the flooring of these three drill holes is um, pointing out in a direction that in the near future we have to turn around and, and I look what we have. And ask the question: What are we going to do with this? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, how are we going to get this yeah. out of the ground? How are we going to process it? Um, whilst we still drill, you know, this is something that we are yeah. asking ourselves. We're trying to find as much as we can. Yeah. And um, and I'm trying to add as much value to our yeah. shareholders in with 
not only as an exploration company, but a company that can do things further well, down, downstream. Well, that's the, that's the uh, the conundrum that most um, mining companies are always uh, facing, isn't it? They find something, they drill it up, and then, yeah, how are we going to dig it out? What are we going to do? All right, well, so we've got the um, the results uh, due from Hole 5 soon. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get to hear about them. Once we do hear them, we'll be bringing them to you at the Resources Roadhouse. JP, gracias. Yeah, they know.